Hello everyone, I hope all of you are doing great and having a nice day. Recently, I posted on my Instagram story questions square asking you all guys what effects or transitions that I use you want to learn from me. In today's video, I'm gonna try my best to help you all guys. But before we start, I just wanted to say I'm sorry if my English is not that much good because it's not my mother language, but I'm gonna try my best. Also, this video is not monetized, so I'm just doing this video to help you all. Let's get started with today's video. Okay, so the first two questions is about transitions and shakes so i'm gonna explain to you how you can do a simple zoom in and zoom out as you can see on the screen so let's start with these two clips i selected these two clips so let's start with the scale my scales value is between 300 and 500 so for example now i'm gonna use a 300 now put it back to normal the number i mean select the keyframes f9 do smooth graph okay as you can see smooth graph not sharp now let's start with the end transition scale we start from the middle of the clip not literally the middle just as you can see you can start from here yeah anyways for example 500 okay make the graph sharp sharp graph the way how i do it the beginning transition smooth the graph the end i use sharp graph that's how i do it now uh, let's start with the second transition second clip transition zoom out to values like it's between 25 10 5 sometimes i use minus 10 bars for example now i'm gonna use minus 10 okay uh like that now go to the end 100 do the graph smooth as i said at the beginning i use a smooth graph as you can see smooth graph now we have zoom in normal zoom in i want the zoom in on the character so i simply use the position with the scale of course so yes it's like not one number just make a number until you can see a good result so yes for example i put it like that also do the same graph as the scale you can see yes that's good now yes that's on the character now the same thing with the second transition but what here for example i used a minus one one thousand here i use normal number not minus and little number not big for example i'm gonna use 400 okay put it back here now normal to zero the graph the same graph as a scale not literally the same but just a smooth graph like that as you can see now we have symbol zoom in and also the zoom out is simple for example here from the middle of the clip put from 100 to 25 also sharp graph as i said before sharp graph like that as you can see now we have symbol zoom in and at the end is there is zoom out now if you can see a tile you can just increase the number here for example it's 100 just make it for example 107 108 it's up to you you know yes it's better than before also with the black bars you can't see tiles now let's start with the shake so about the shake I use the shake in the clip. I activate the position X and Y, also the rotation. Let's start only with the position for now. The number between 60 to 100. Now I'm gonna use 100, okay? Okay, 100. Now we can go forward for like between 10 to 15 K frames. It's, it's up to you, you know? For example here, random. As you can see, put the value between minus 40 to minus 60. For example now, minus 60 okay the same thing from 10 to 15 k frames for example to here as you can see put it back 100 the same as the beginning now select all the k frames f9 don't do the graph just f9 so yes now with the rotation let's start with the rotation we start for example with minus 4 now go for like between 14 to 16 k frames as you can see here for example 4 now go the same thing mm, for example here put it back minus 4 select the k frames and f9 let's see the shake for example here it's good but you can make it better what you can do for example move the rotation a little bit to the left like that like that as you can see it will get better you see so yes just mess with it that's the shake for example that's the shake just keep mess with it until you get a good result it's up to you you know what i mean so yes like that for example this shake is simple and enough so we will keep using it now copy the same shake literally the same shake Control c Control v here also put it the same position as the previous clip so now we have simple and good shake i made it so fast as you can see i didn't take long so yes that's all for now so other questions is about turbulent displays and warp i'm gonna start with the turbulent displays i put it on the clip of course now i activate the amount and size and this number i put it between 10 to 30 for example now i'm gonna put it 20 and this number between 60 to 80 i'm gonna put it now 80 now we go to the end of the clip this number i put it zero this number between 200 to 250 for example now 200 select all the keyframes and f9 the amount graph don't change it but we change the graph of size 
size we do the graph like that this one move it to the left at the end and this one to the left also but a little bit as you can see now we have a symbol and uh, a little turbulent display so it will make the clip looks better as you can see so yes and we copy it and put it in the other clip of course so now we have simple turbulent and it will make the clip look better so now let's start with the warp the warp we uh, i use it only with the zoom out of course i put the warp and the adjustment and we put the adjustment size the same as the zoom out keyframe so as you can see this warp style i changed it to fish eye and i activate the bend thing so i start from zero to minus 100 and this keyframe not at the end before the end one frame just one frame before the end now f9 and do the graph sharp graph okay as you can see now we have warp and turbulent as you can see it looks better now also we can add with the transition blur it will look better so yes that's all for now the other questions is about one framers and the glow before i start explaining how we can do one framers and the glow like that as you can see on the screen i just wanted to give credit to nipton because I got inspired by him with the, this one of framers and the glow. So let's start. Basically, you need to add adjustment layer and cut it to three frames. In the first adjustment layer, you need to put this effects. Okay, as you can see, it's underscore edge detect and a hue saturation and deep glow. I'm gonna start with the S underscore edge detect. This number, sometimes I put it zero, sometimes two, sometimes three. It's up to you, to be honest. So I'm gonna use three for this time. This one, increase it a little bit more like that, as you can see. Now this one, increase it up. Now it's not like before, it's looking better. What you can do also, this one, white red, white green, white uh, blue. This one, put it to zero, okay? And this one, increase it a little bit down. As you can see, we don't have only one color. I mean, uh, we have a blue with a little bit of green color. As you can see, better than one color. So, turn this on, and this one, move it to the right. Open the deep glow, okay, as you can see now. And increase the, this one, exposure, a little bit up. Now, we can change the color with the hue saturation. For example, I'm gonna use this one. This one is looking good. We start in the second adjustment. What we can add here? S underscore invert. And hue saturation. With the hue saturation, you need to move this one to the left, okay, as you can see. Third one frame up. Copy literally the same effects from the first adjustment layer to this one. Now, what we have, we have now also decent one framer, but what? You can make a different one, you can add here, this effect. Directional blur, as you can see. Now, increase it up, go to the edge detect, as you can see. Increase the brightness up. Now, we have a good one frame, as you can see. Yes, and also the color, it's up to you. You can change it from your saturation, as I said. You can select any color you want. So, that's the one framers for now. About the glow, I will do the glow on this clip. I will duplicate the clip and I add this effect. BCC liner color key, a hue saturation, deep glow. So I will turn off this effects. I will start with this one. The output, change it to this one. I want the glow on the blood. So I will select the blood color, for example, here. Turn off the first clip and increase down the number until you see a good result. Here, for example, this one is enough. I will turn on the hue saturation and move this number to the right. I will turn on the deep glow and increase up the exposure. As you can see, I want to change the color, so I will change it like that. Change the mood to screen. And I want now, I have a glow now, but I want a flicker with the glow. So what can I do like that? For example here, activate the exposure, go forward to keyframes and increase it up. So copy the keyframes, control V, okay? Here like that, control V. Now select all the keyframes, hold Alt and uh, hold left click and move it to the right. As you can see, we have now a good glow with a good uh, flick up. So yes, that's how I do the glow. That's all for today's video, guys. I hope I helped you all. And if you want to support me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join my Discord server. I will put the link in the description. So goodbye, guys.